Hi, Mr. Ngozi. Um, my name is Mario Flores. Um, I'm loving your class. I really am. It's, I'm learning a lot. I'm getting a really good experience. I'm loving your lectures big time. Um, let's see. I'm not really good at these videos, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, my, top, my top three values would probably have to be leadership, teamwork, and patience. Um, teamwork because I am really well working in teams. Leadership, I'm really good at being a leader because uh, as of actually right now where I'm at, I'm at the Cal State University Small Theater and I've been working on a show uh, called Once Upon a Mattress. Um, it's with uh, GoFame as a theater and uh, yeah, um, I do a lot of work with them and I also work on my other job which is a uh, entertainment company and I load in concerts and I load in other corporate uh, special gigs. Uh, I've done multiple concerts here in the LA area, that's all I do. Um, at the Honda Center, Long Beach Arena, LA Convention Center, um, and multiple other um, venues. Um, so going back to my three top values, um, leadership is huge because I am the stage manager here with this theater. and. Um, and I love it, you know. I've been doing stage managing since uh, probably, I'd have to say, 10th grade is when I started in high school. Started as an ASM, the, as, which is an assistant stage manager. Sorry, I didn't make that clear. And then I worked my way up to a stage manager position. And I've, hold, I've held many um, plays and musicals. Um, so yeah, and then as of right now, I am currently with GoFame. I do about, probably about between two to four shows a year with them. Two are the big ones, and this is one of them. It happens in the fall, and then there's one in the summer. Um, and right, and this one in the summer is called Annie Got Your Gun, which is supposed to be really great, I've heard. Um, but once again, going back to my top three values. Um, leadership, huge, because I am a stage manager. I love to take control. I'm really good at it. I'm a really good organizer. I'm really good being the leader and keeping everything together. Um, uh, so teamwork is um, because I do work with a big team. I have an assistant stage manager, an assistant director, I have my director, I have my managing director, I have my sound technician, I have my lighting technician, I have myself and my also the music director um, and myself again. Um, we all have to work together to put a show together. It takes huge teamwork to put this show together and also the actors, I have to give credit to these actors because these kids are amazing. And um, putting together the show has been a really great experience for me and the past other shows I've done like um, Beauty and the Beast, uh, Annie, um, The Wizard of Oz, uh, what else? God, there's been so many, I just I can't even, uh, Hello Dolly, um, My Fair Lady, uh, To Kill a Mockingbird, uh, Great Expectations, I've done many, many plays and musicals. Um, on my third value would probably have is patience. Uh, I have a lot of patience because being able to work in this theater experience is, it causes us to create and to, well, not to create, but to learn how to have patience because we're working between 8 and 18 year olds and that is, that is a really hard age range to work with. I mean, we're working with kids that have, some have uh, autism, some have ADHD, so you know, we have to be able to work work with them and have a lot of patience and try and understand them and and understand how they're seeing everything because it, it's 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 really different and it's fun working with kids. I love working with kids. Um, let's see. I know one of them was discuss at least two strengths uh, and challenges. Um, one challenge would be uh, was when my sister um, and her three kids. She was actually a, an addict and that really took a toll on my life. It was extremely difficult to to cope with the fact that my my sister was a drug addict, and then her having her kids. It just and those kids are everything to me, and they really are. I've 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 been through a lot with them, and her and her also. You know, her being 27, she started when she was really young, around about 18 is probably when she probably started doing it, and and I had to learn to have patience with her and my mom and I had to you know go through that and her kids too and uh, it was a big teamwork going back to my three values and leadership my mom and I took leadership with her and 
helped her cope with the fact that she was an addict. And, and luckily she has gone through all that and she has gone through rehab and we have done family counseling over and over. And we have really um, done a lot to help her get back on her feet and she has. And I think when all this happened was when I really started getting more involved in what I do. And because I really coped with my way of trying to understand and not running away from it, but just um, getting away from that, that type of what was going on in the home. And when I got into theater, this was something huge for me. And, it, and it's really touched me in a big way because it's, it's awesome when, I, when we create shows. It really is. And I hope that you can come see this show because I, these kids are amazing. The lighting is awesome. And um, like see, my two assessment tools that I use was probably the personality um, test. Probably was the one I probably used that I thought would actually help me. Um, I was able to uh, use all the information I got from that personality test, and I came up with a, a um, my three my four letters, which is uh, looks like uh, it was. E N T J, and those were which was extrovert, uh, intuitive, thinking, and judgment is what I came out with, and um, those are my four letters that I just that I came out with, and it would those really spoke to me because that's really who I am. The other one was probably um, in chapter one, which was the career save. And that one really helped me because it showed me different careers and where I actually belonged and stuff. And um, my genogram, let's see for number six, is the genogram. Um, it didn't give me much of an impact. It did give me an impact to lurking, looking into my family tree. And um, you can go ahead, John. It's cool. Yeah, I wanted the music background. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, I know, right? Sorry, I'm sorry about the miss and it goes. He, um, that was my lighting technician passing through. Um, he didn't want to make too much noise, but it was fine. Because um, that's this is what it's like. It's it's pretty hectic. Um, so going back, I'm sorry. Chapter one, yes, uh, the career survey one was really great because it helped me find what I what my interest was and uh, what I did find was more on the business side, which I found very strange, you know. But I do see myself somewhat going into the business side and um, of, of some type of career either within my entertainment world which is the concerts or corporate gigs or staying sticking here in the theater I really love theater I really do stage managing is, is a big thing I might even consider going to directing and possibly going into film and that's where I'm going to Golden West for because I might be going into film um, and I'm looking into it because I've done a lot of different areas of the entertainment of, as you know theater um, concert and corporate and um, now I'm looking into film so I'm trying to f narrow down my search within the entertainment field and see where I belong so yeah um, let's see uh, how will I use this information that I've learned from chapter 1 through 4 to support your careers in major exploration um, let's see I feel that I have, from each of these chapters, I find another part of myself, and I feel like it really is narrowing down where I belong when f trying to find balance, finding my values, um, looking at all the careers within, you know, there's many careers out there, learning, you know, doing those um, assessment tools of using all the assessments like the COPS and, um, and many of those other ones that we've done. Um, Yeah, I feel like each chapter is really showing me something, a part of my life. And it's also making me understand more from what I've already understood. Um, but yes, um, so now, uh, I'm still at 9.30, so I'm good. I would really like to show you a little portion of the stage if I can, if the lighting is still up. Um, this is what I've been doing for the past few hours, and this is what I've been working on for the past few months. And this is where it all comes down to is opening night, which is uh, Saturday. Today was our dry tech rehearsal, which was basically cue to cue, and which means we go to each scene, each cue, each light, and we just look at everything and see and make sure each kid has enough light on themselves, and that's my job.
job is to make sure that, that they're doing that, that I'm doing that, and I can and I create all the lighting for each scene and the colors and everything. So I'm hoping that the lights are still up. Um, so and then tomorrow is going to be our what we kind of call the wet tech, and that's a, basically a straight through run, no stops, well including intermission. Um, stop at intermission and continue on to Act Two, and um, we'll see where we can. Then we'll go through the whole scene through each uh, act and each scene, each light, and after we'll figure out what needs to be changed, if anything does need to be changed, and if it does, we have to change it soon. And then that's about it. And then we open Saturday night around 7, I think. Yeah, we start the show at 7. So, um, yeah, we're extremely excited. Um, and uh, let's see, I'm going to try to make my way in. Here we go. Uh, I'm walking backward. I'm walking forward, actually. Give me a second. Sorry. Yep, there's light on stage. Boom. There it is. So this is the stage we've been working on. We loaded in last Saturday, and we worked on it all night, including I also went to a concert to load up, by the way, and came back and kept going working. Continued on on Sunday, kept loading in, and then after that it was just uh, rehearsals at the studio, and then today the kids actually came in and actually got to see it all, and it was pretty amazing. They were pretty excited to go up there. The highest point, as you see, where there's one um, one arch way up there is about probably about six feet up. So those kids are really high. Um, so yeah, this is basically the whole entire stage right now. You see the paint. We're still working on it. And we always work to the last minute because there's always little things that need to be touched up. Um, but uh, this is it basically, and this is who I am, and this is what I like to do for a living. Well, what I've actually been doing for a living. So it really makes me happy to put on these plays and musicals and see the kids are all happy and to see those smiles on their face and the parents to be really excited about their kids being performed and seeing the creative lighting that we can do to help them achieve that and to have them, you know, help them out, basically, because that's what we're here for. That's, what the, that's why there's tech people here is to help them with their acting by creating a mood of lighting is what, what I have to do. But... um. This is it. So, uh, thank you, Miss Nangozi. I really appreciate this video. I appreciate the classes that I've been taking with you and the lecture. All those lectures are really helpful and they really are helping me, no matter how early and no matter how many times I yawn in the morning. But, uh, yes, thank you. I really appreciate it and I hope you like this video. This is really me. It really is. Bye.